Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a quilt kit, a strip quilt kit. I am going to show you the fabrics. I like to do a quick video just to uh, show you the fabrics. And uh, before I forget, I will let you know that this is on my blog, DarleneMichaud.com. If you want to just go to the blog, I'll have something in the sidebar that you can click on to take you to the sales page or I will also have the link down below that will take you directly there and I'm calling this one Dapper Dogs all the fabrics in this one are Lorelei Designs and they have some funky things I only have one strip in the quilt with actual dogs because I was low on that one and it's a 10 inch strip and it's doggies that look like this and they are indeed quite dapper. Let me see if I can show you some more. So as with all my strip quilt kits, you get a bunch of strips, various sizes. That is also listed in the sales page. You can click on each image and see how much you're getting of that particular print. This one happens to have, let me look, 18 strips total, and when you sew them all together in any order that you want, it would end up being uh, the full width of the fabric. All these strips are the full width of the fabric, so about 42 inches wide, and it should end up being about 74 and a half inches tall. That's, you know, with all the seam allowances. And you have 18 strips, and I believe it's 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different prints. And again, you'll see like a collage of all the prints, but then you'll uh, have links to click each image. So we started with this one, the Dapper Dogs. And then we have some dog bones. And stripes like this. See that this one has two different size of the strips and you have these stripes diagonal stripes oh the dog houses so cool some plaid <laughs> I, I never knew what this was but now I know Lorelei Designs has um, different themes they do, like the ladies, the dogs, the cats, and uh, different things. Chickens. This is for golf. These are actually golf clubs. <laughs> I thought they were like hair combs or something. Picks. But the colors worked with this, so I had it. I used it. These stripes. These polka dots. And then I had very little of this, so there's only one two-inch strip of each. We got the stars, some diagonal lines, and more golf clubs on black. The wider, taller strips can be cut, like you could cut this into two different size strips. Just remember that anytime you make a cut and sew a new seam, you're going to lose a total of a half of an inch in the tallness of the uh, quilt top. This is for just the quilt top. You get all the strips. You need to supply your own batting and backing. And you can, if you want, say you don't care for a few of these and you can use them in another project. You can always add your own fabric to this. These, like I said, happen to all be Lorelei designs, so the colors do work well together. However, you are free to add what you want. You can add sashing between the rows, and it gives you a chance to, like I said, maybe there's something that is just not your style. Everything's my style. I just love a mix of things. I think it looks fun, festive, just wacky. I like all of that. But you're free to do what you want with the fabric. You could get these and just cut them up for all kinds of things that don't have to even make the quilt top. I guess that's all I want to tell you, so the link is down below or just go to DarleneMichaud.com and you will find that. And I've got uh, lots more fabric and stuff on the way, so please subscribe and you won't miss out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!
Don't go yet. I completely forgot that I wanted to show you a couple of panels. These will actually be on eBay, so I don't have to babysit the PayPal buttons. I am going to be having a lot more panels coming in, and I have even more than I'm going to show you here, but I want to make sure they're separated before I put them up for sale because I don't like cutting after the fact. When somebody orders something, I want to be ready to just ship it out. So I have a few to show you. I'm starting to do Christmas early, and I will uh, be doing that throughout the year. This is a fun panel. I have one, two, three of these. I don't think I have any more ordered. It is a Christmas tree without taking it all apart. Here's the top of the tree and then the bottom of the tree and you have some fun borders lots of fussy cutting you can do you could uh, fussy cut this uh, the side borders you can fussy cut what you have on the bottom as for the tree well you know you could um, cut that tree out and you don't even have to use it for a quilt I think it's really cool and I had that for my son when he was little. I had a Santa bag or just a bag that could be under the tree and then it was filled with gifts in the morning. So you can always do something like that. It's also a way that you can use it as a gift bag to wrap something odd shaped. You just put it in the bag, maybe a little drawstring closure and you have that for every year. So there's that. And then this one I only have one right now, but I do have more on the way. So if you like this one, I like this so much better than I thought. Uh, if you like this one, then, uh, you know, check back later. Here's the top of it. Now, if you don't want to use it as the whole panel, you could do some fussy cutting. I don't know what I'm showing you. You could do some fussy cutting on this. I'm just going to move this all the way around <laughs> so you can see. But wait till you see the back side, well, the other side, the bottom of this. You're going to get four fantastic squares. Luck. Lucky. Cool. Cool. Trying to make it straight. This one. And that. Now... Did I just show you the same things? Oh, it's the same. I didn't even realize that. They're the same blocks, but you just got them going in opposite directions. So those are really nice. Let me just measure those really quick to give you an idea. Those are about 8 by 7.5, so not quite square. But what I love is look at the fabric in between that like animal print in various colors. I would love cutting that up into two inch squares. Like I said, just one available right now, but more on the way. Now this one is a nice patriotic print and yet not all just, you know, red and blue screaming out at you. It's like a country kind of thing happening. Once again, lots of things that you can fussy cut or you can use it as the center of a quilt top. This is the bottom of it. Really nice. Hope you saw that. <laughs> I have all my to-do lists are blowing around. And the last one for this batch is a nice big sunflower. At one point, I also had the matching placemats, but can't get those now, unless they would come back in stock. They were pretty popular for me, so. It's just, uh, you know, one panel like this. You could fussy cut some big squares out of that. And then here's the bottom part of it. That is it. Now I'm going to show you a little slideshow of the fabrics for the quilt kit. Thank you again for watching. Bye. For real this time.